this chapter we have learned about the data information data storage units computer memory and storage devices so we are going to first to differentiate between the data and information we feed data into computer in the form of text number special characters facts concepts or instructions therefore we can say that data is a representation of unorganized fact and figure and information is the proceed and organized data it is a manifold let's understand the difference between data and for and information data is collection of raw factor and figure whatever information is the process and organized data and data is used as input but the information is used obtained and output and data is it meaningless and information is meaningful now student we are understand the difference between data and information we are going to see this some example we are happening in every day in your life first our sport teachers want to make list height and weight of all student he collects the data from the student of your class and feed it in the computer after entering the raw data as a input into a computer he organizes the data in ascending order this processed data obtained as output is called information in the next in this example we are understand a teacher have collect data from the students height and weight and another teacher has enter the data in computer from collection of height and info weight after the computer had proceed this data in ascending order and it give a correct information this is called output now we are going as some another example and understand the difference between data and information when your mother purchases things from a grocery store the grocery tax details from her about various food items purchased and feeds the data into the computer as input after organization the data properly the information is obtained as a output and give to our mother in the form of print out the student we have understood this example as when you going a grocery store and you purchase some items like oil ghee rice wheat then you give this information to the shopkeeper and then shopkeeper make a list and this list is a organized data and when your mother is giving the information from purchasing uh, items this is called information now what is the data storage of unit all the data that we feed into a computer gets converted to a form that can be understood by a computer this form is called machine code a computer takes the input in two forms that means computer only know only two information one is on which represent one and other is off which is represented by zero 
both 0 and 1 are called binary digit computer understand only machine language not our language so we put this language in the two form 1 and 0 and what is the bit bit is a single digit in binary number which can be either 0 or 1 it is a smallest unit of data in a computer a group of 8 bits is called byte it is considered the smallest unit of memory so student some memory size given here that means one byte is equal to 8 bits and one one kilobytes that means 1024 bytes and one megabytes that means mb is equal to 1024 kilobytes and you understand to see this table and the measurement of the memory size of a computer and the next is the computer memory a student we understand how many types of memory found in computer here are two types of memory in a computer first is primary memory and second is secondary memory and the primary memory is also called internal memory and the secondary memory is also called external memory now we understand the internal memory internal memory is the main memory of a computer it is also called primary memory it is store the data and instruction when the computer is begin beginning used the data is stored in the primary memory is loss when the computer is switch up that means the internal memory have stores the information is loss when the our computer have to shut down so internal memory is of two types first is random memory this is called ram and read only memory and this is called in short form room ram this is called random access memory random ram stores data and instructions when program is in use that means this memory is used when our computer is in running status it is temporary memory and is erased when a computer is switched off ram is a read type of memory read and write type of memory therefore it can be read and write by the user is it is possible to randomly used any location of this memory therefore it is called a random access memory and next is read only memory this is called rom rom is an essential component of a memory unit that means the room is an important part of com computer memory. A computer does not have intelligence of its own. That means computer never start, never calculation, never do anything without giving any instruction by the user. Therefore, it needs instruction which are given by the user. Whenever a computer is switched on, it search for required instruction. All these essential instructions are stored in the memory called read-only memory. It is a permanent memory and not erased when the system is switched off. The data of storage in RAM is erased during the computer has switched off, but the data is storage in room memory whenever will be 
it is it is a this is also called permanent memory it is a clear from the name rom is a read only memory is read type of memory which can be read only and not written by the user or programmer that means rom is a read type memory we cannot interfere in their program of the computer program it contains a number of program the basic input output system bios is the most important program of rom this program activate the hardware to communicate with the system and the application software external memory store information for a long period time it is also called secondary memory data and information stay protected in the secondary memory even if the computer is switched off that means when the computer has switched off the our data will properly safe in external memory these are not erased during the computer switch off secondary memory is the required because primary memory of a computer has limited storage why secondary memory is required because the primary memory has a limited storage so secondary memory is required to store more data from job purposes assessing the data from secondary memory take more time than assessing its from primary memory storage of device storage device are used by the computer to store data and information let's learn about different storage device first hard disk hard disk a hard disk drive h dd is the most common magnetic mass storage device of present day microcomputers which is fixed inside the computer and is not easily removable a hard disk is made up of disk splitters which are used to read and write on the disk you can see in this picture it and writes platters are sealed inside the box there are different type of hard disk available in the market with different storage capacity 80 gb 160 gb and compact disk cd compact disk is a optical storage media it is a round shape and shining disk earlier cds were we read only type but now writable cd are available with the relevant driver such as cd writer to write on them a single optical disk store nearly 614 mb of data a large multiple media software and data such as audio video files can be stored on cd that means cd have a carrying capacity is 640 mb and we are stores our movies our songs in this compact disk digital versatile disk dvd and dvd is just like a cd and but their carrying capacity is larger in comparison of cd their carrying capacity is 4.7 gb to 17 gb and dvd are the higher capacity removable media from multimedia applications and next pen drive is the also called flash drive and next storage device is pen drive or flash drive pen drive is also called flash drive you can see in this picture this is a pen drive it is a portable universal serial bus usb and flash memory device it resemble a small pen 
it is small enough to fit into a pocket and can store a large amount of data such as 4GB, 8GB, 16GB. It is used as a standard storage device for data transfer from one computer to another computer. And next storage device is Blu-ray device. It is also look like a CD and DVD but their carrying capacity is higher in the comparison of CD and DVD. Now what is the Blu-ray disc is a optical plastic disc of a same size of DB and DVDs and CDs. The storage capacity of a conventional Blu-ray disc is 25 GB per layer with dual layer disc having a capacity of 50 GB. The major application of a Blu-ray disc is that it is used as a medium for storage of video data such as future films. Blu-ray disc is associated with a set of multimedia formats that allow the video and audio files to be stored on it with greater definition than on DVD. And the last is memory stick. Memory stick is a standard storage device of a data transfer in a small digital electronic product. It is available in 4 MB to 120 MB storage size and as a kit with PC card adapter. The 8 MB memory stick has more than 5 times the storage capacity of standard 3.5 inch floppy disk. That means memory stick device is a very easily carrying from one place to another place and their carrying capacity is more in the comparison of floppy disk and this is a durable in comparison of floppy disk. So thank you to student for watching this video. We are continue in next chapter in next video.